the next data structure is called as stack or stacks is nothing but the abstract data type commonly used in many of the programming languages so stack is nothing but it behaves like a real world stack for example a deck of cards or a pile of plates etc suppose for a pile of plates you will just see the first one which is there on the top you will not get the last one which is there in the bottom or it will you will not remove the last one because removing the last one will automatically disturb the complete pile of plates which you have it so the same example follows in stack a real world stack allows operation at one and only for example we can only place or remove a card or a plate from the top of the stack likewise stack add that is abstract data type allows all data operations at one and only at a given time we can have access at the top of the stack so this feature makes it a leafo kind of a data structure so again i would like to repeat stack refers to the list of items which are available from one end leafo structure means it is last in first out data structure last in first out means whichever it is there on the top most which is inserted like it will be removed first it will not be the last one which will be removed first the best example for stack is pile of plates now each link has a connection to the another link and it is concretely called as the abstract data type so this feature which is the leafo structure last in first out which means that whichever element is placed or inserted last is accessed first in stack terminology there are various set of operations for removal as well as for insertion if you are inserting a particular element in the stack then it is called as a push operation if you are removing it from the stack then it is called as a pop operation so let's have a look about the stack representation in the next slide the basic operations stack operations may involve initializing the stack using it and then deinitializing this apart from these basic stuffs a stack is known to have primary two set of operations like i mentioned now is push and pop pushing means you are storing a particular element in the stack you are inserting an element in it whereas when it comes to pop you are removing or accessing a particular element from the stack a stack can be implemented by means of an array a structure a pointer and linked list stack can either be of a fixed particular type lay fixed size or something or it can have a dynamic sense of resizing it to a particular level so here we are going to see how the basic operations take place first we will understand thoroughly what are these stacks all about and how these operations usually takes place so this is the basic structure of a stack say the pile of plates it is kept in this way like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 but the last one which is there the eighth one is easily accessible a user will not go to the first one because like removing this particular element or inserting something in inside the first element or say in between any of them will disturb the complete stack structure so that is why it is always mentioned that stack should be in the systematic order like in such a way that the last added element or the last inserted element would be my last removed element also or would be the last access to the element which i have it so this is the understanding with the structure of stack it's like last in first out see the data element which is inserted over here this would be the first one and this would be the first element which a user can access it and it will be removed automatically the other common example of stack is a stack of trays at a cafeteria trays are always removed from the top and when trays are put back on the stack after being washed they are placed on the top of the stack so that's why the best description for always mentioning the stack let it be for any kind of implementation let it be a javascript implementation in data structure or java or c c++ but the conceptual representation for stack is the same it's like last in first out abbreviated form is leafo it is a leafo structure because of the last in and first out nature of the stack any element that is not currently at the top of the stack cannot be accessed that is also a drawback if you want to access any of these elements from here say my first element is the second is this but i want to access the third one 
but it is not there on the top of it for that you need to remove all these elements or say you want to update any elements in between the last to the actual element then only you can get an access to this element so this is a major drawback with stack if it is not there on the topmost structure or the last inserted element then it will be very difficult to access the particular element to get the element at the bottom of the stack you have to dispose all the elements first see if you want to get this particular plate then what do you do in normal lifestyle we just remove all the existing plates which are there on the top of it and we use this particular plate so the same functionality is used in stack for removing a particular element so the two primary operations i would like to again repeat here is push and pop so two primary operations of the stack are adding the elements and taking the elements apart from this there is nothing like update delete or any functionality it's like adding and deleting retrieving a particular element is only possible if it is there in the last structure elements are added to the stack using the push operation and they are removed off using the pop operation so while pushing and popping and peaking are the primary operations associated with the stack and these are the other operations we need to perform and the properties we need to examine the clear operation will remove all the elements in it so if you consider for the javascript kind of notation then we will obviously have the push functionality the pop functionality and also there will be a functionality for clearing up so clear operation will remove all the elements from the stack there will be also a property in the javascript which is called as the length property as we had the length property for an array and list the similar way we will have it for stack the length property holds all the number of elements contained in a stack and we will also define the empty property to know if the stack has any elements in it if stack has zero elements in it then it will give the length property as zero so now let's move to our code base where i'll show the simple basic syntax for implementation of a stack like how a function is built in stack like to build a stack we need to first decide the underlying data structure we will use to store the elements now we will use an array in our implementation because we have clear picture of what is array is all about so we begin our stack implementation by defining the constructor function for stack class so my stack class will be function stack so let's go to our code base and there we will implement the function stack structure so this is my code base here i'll call for a new file and i'll save this particular file outside the folder I'll create a folder for stack so creation of the folder will be the first primary thing so i'll say stack inside stack i'll mention this particular element as stack.js okay now i will define the stack element so first of all i'll give a comment that initializing the stack stack class okay now i'll call for a function so my function will be function stack inside this i'll specify the stack functionality so i'll first of all call for data store so this dot data data store will be called and it will be an empty array and after that comes the top position so it will be this dot top to get the top most position so i'll just mention over here as zero and after that comes the push operation so i'll give this dot push equal to push okay after the complete uh, analysis then comes the pop operation so push is actually used for inserting the element so mention this over here inserting the element in stack okay and then pop operation is used this dot pop equal to pop so pop is used for removing so it is like removing or deleting an element removing the element in stack 
So I have taken the push operation and the pop operation and after that comes the peak operation. So peak is nothing but to get the peak value of the stack. So peak equal to peak. So in this way I have initialized my constructor of stack. So the array stores the stack elements named data store. The constructor sets it into an empty array. The top variable keeps a track of top of the stack and it is initially set to a zero by the constructor. Okay, indicating that zero position of the array is the top of the stack. Okay, and at least until an element is pushed onto a stack, so it will be kept as zero only. Unless and until we have some peculiar element stored in the stack. Then comes this dot push, which pushes your particular element in it. After that comes this dot pop. So pop will nothing but will be to remove a particular element in it. Push and pop will automatically have associated functions. For peak, peak is nothing but it's a function that returns the top element of the stack by accessing the element on the top position at top minus one position actually. If the topmost position is the eighth element say for number eight, then it will access for the next element after eight. So that will be given as the peak, which is actually called the peak of the stack element okay now next moving to our next chapter will be complete coding and understanding like we will design a stack and here there we will add and delete so it is like push and pop the uh, stack elements in it and we'll check for the implementation in stack as well so let's move on to our next chapter which will be the programmatical experience in javascript like javascript implementation for the particular stack